I tell you, Jang Hyuk is starting to become one of my favorite actors, and he's back in a new film, so I was very excited to check it out. Now it's time to review it, so let's jump into that right now. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Paid in Blood which is going to be uh, premiering on the Haya Act as of June 17th and then will be releasing digitally July 26th. First of all, I'm going to say this is a film you want to check out. Uh, I, I thought this film was really good uh, for a couple of reasons. One, because, you know, for all of the martial arts, the hand-in-hand -hand combat that you are in for this with a Korean film, you get that. But I also thought that the plot was really interesting, really well wrote, and had some substance to it. You know, it wasn't just brainless killing. I actually thought that, like, you know, beyond the motivation of our antagonist, shall I say, um, I still thought that the plot and the story developed pretty well. So I thought the story was written uh, pretty good and, and added some substance in, instead of somebody just coming out killing everybody for no reason or whatnot. So, but yes, Jane Hayuk is back. Um, last films I seen him in was The Swordsman and The Killer, which for whatever reason he just has this presence that's just really natural. That he, you could just tell he's 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 going to start some trouble, you know, or he's really about that life, and you know he has this very natural, organic presence to him, very menacing, and with that, attached to what I think is his really fantastic um, hand to hand combat, his cine uh, his cinematography, his choreography skills, and everything really brings these action scenes to life. So you know I'm I'm, I'm really enjoying seeing him in a lot more films as of recently, and he's starting to become one of my favorites, but. In this film, he plays a gangster in Lee. Lee shows up in South Korea in Gang Nyeong, um, if I pronounce that right. Uh, Gang Nyeong, I think that's how you say that. Um, and he just wants to be a part of this, you know, this whole new development that's happening because you have this really powerful crime ring that's starting the construction of the largest casino in Asia which is already um, going to be attached to a resort that's already there. So like, yeah, he sees opportunities. So of course, as a businessman, he's like, hey, you know, ah, can I have a seat at the table? And they're just like, absolutely not. <laughs> no, like we're good. And so he didn't kind of take that in, in, in a very likely manner. So he says, fine, I will stop at nothing to gain power. I will kill everybody that's involved. Every stakeholder that's involved in this, I will kill my way to the top and you know that that actually starts war you have him versus an entire gang family and so you know to me it's just like well did you really think you were going to succeed here like do, do you think you have a chance here because it doesn't seem likely and it definitely seems very ludicrous for him to come into somebody else's property and says i want to see at the table and if not i'm gonna kill you and so but yeah in this adventure you 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 kind of ride to see how this all plays out and what's i say a little bit different is that we never typically see films where we're actually looking through the lens of the antagonist as they are trying to in his eyes do right <laughs> but instead not just do right but do business and he says well if you're not gonna give me opportunity then i'll make opportunities <laughs> so on and so he goes against this gang family who's actually our protagonist but they're a gang so uh yeah you know <laughs> but i i like the, the the change in dynamics it makes the film um not so predictable um and and and, and it keeps you invested you know because you never know what's kind of what's going to happen next but as I said about Jang, the film has really good hand-to-hand -hand combat. And the choreography amongst the cast is really well. But the one unexpected thing about this film is that this film has the most Niles fights of all films I've ever seen. Not a gun in sight. It's either you're using your fist or you're getting shanked. And a lot of people get shanked in very different, unique ways. So, um, and all the knives designs were really cool as well, too. But, like, yeah, if you got a thing with knives, you're probably going to love this th this film. And if you got a thing against knives, you're probably not going to watch this because, man, everybody's getting stabbed up left and right. 
Um, and then the sound with it is so chilling. You're just like, oh my god, like, ooh, makes the hair on your arms raise. But yeah, with that, you know, I I, I love me a good Korean film. Uh, and with this one being sort of a crime thriller, um, it, it really it's it, it's it's really sort of what I like to ingest in my films. But more or less, I love how this is definitely like a like a nod to like old school um yakuza films like it, it's definitely that it's, it's it's definitely what i got into loving uh asian films and more or less korean films um in, in terms of like you know the the great vast amount of skill in the choreography and just you know you're getting some of the best martial artists in all of the world in these films but like yeah i love how this was definitely uh, playing homage to like the old classic yakuza film so that that's really dope but and again like i said like this film has substance to it uh and, and while it may not seem likely that lee has a chance to you know succeed in his whole goal you're still curious about how this is all going to play out because you're you're, you're clearly like well, well it ain't gonna be long before he gets his but I gotta say again, like it's super intriguing, and I and I thought the film, um, you know, with this all-out war of one guy versus a family, I was like, okay, well, we'll see. You know, it, we 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 seen these type of these type of odds, you know, be, be overcome. So you just never know. Um, but yeah, I like this film. Um, uh, to 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 add a little bit more context about the film structure, I thought that um, the production was good. Uh, the special effects was good. Very practical stunts, as you can see. Um, the blood splatter and everything, the gore and all that looked really good. Um, I thought the cinematography was good, especially with some of the low light shots and with the movements of the hand in hand combat. I thought like the action panning uh, shots were really good as well too. And overall, I, just, I, I didn't have a problem with this film at all. It, it was about close to two hours, but you were entertained the entire time. And I will say, if you check out the trailer. The trailer gives you extremely hype, and I think it absolutely delivers. It's not misleading. I I, I should start warning people about that because I've seen trailers that look super suspenseful, action packed, and then you be like, "Well, where all the action go?" Um, this one definitely was giving you plot development, action, plot development, action. So overall, I thought the pacing was good. So I enjoyed this film. And I think everybody should check this out. So again, Paid in Blood, you get a chance to check this out exclusively on the Hi app on June 17th, and then you can check it out digitally July 16th, uh, 26th, excuse me, almost a month and, so, uh, and a week later. So like, check it out on the high eye. You can check it out early, sooner, right now. Uh, but yeah, jump in the comments, let me know your thoughts about this when you check it out. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.